Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of OpenCard B2B Marketplace. As we all know, B2B Marketplace are business to business marketplace where wholesalers or manufacturers sell their products to the re retailers and the suppliers of the product. This module is highly beneficial for the OpenCart users. By installing this module, OpenCart users can convert their OpenCart store into a B2B platform or B2B marketplace. Where wholesalers and the manufacturers can easily sell their products and retailers and the suppliers of the product can easily purchase products from the marketplace. So admin can create customer groups and customer can create sub customer groups to manage their activities. So in this video I am going to show you how admin can easily manage the B2B marketplace and how customers can easily use or perform commercial activities through B2B marketplace. So at first we have to log in to our admin panel to manage the B2B marketplace. So this is our admin panel. So after installation you can find your dashboard like this. Here you can uh, see the total sales, total orders, total customers and people online under after dashboard you can find the b2b marketplace menu uh, by clicking on this menu here is an accordion menu displayed in front of you so under accordion menu you can find various options like partners customer group commission products income transaction shipping mail so we will use it one by one and get to know how does it work so at first i am going to open the partner menu so here marketplace partners can be managed here is the partners list and here is the filter admin can easily search partners by their customer name customer group approved or unapproved status email and status enable or disable and customer types so admin can also easily modify the partners or edit the partners information from here So under partner information and you can see the dashboard of the, the that particular partner. So here is the dashboard. Under dashboard you can see the total orders of that particular partner, total sales of that particular partner and total buyers for that particular partner. Here is the sales analytics graph and here is the world map for the orders now we will move to dashboard da after dashboard we will move to partner details so here is the partner details in this tab you can see the screen name the avatar you can set the screen name according to you uh, then you can set the avatar by clicking on avatar you can change or remove the avatar or the profile image of the seller now here is gender you can select male or female now here is seller profile information you can write profile information for the sellers here you can write the company name after that the next field is twitter id and facebook id 
you can write the Twitter ID and Facebook ID for the seller. Uh, here you have to uh, fill the company city or enter the city where your company is situated. Now here you can select the country of your company. Now here is the theme. You can select any color for your theme. Now the next field is company manner. Here you can set the company manner or you can remove it by clicking on it like you can edit or browse a new image or you can delete the image from uh, this button now here is company logo the next field is company logo here you can remove or edit or set a new company logo by clicking on this logo it will be shown on seller or company profile page here is the company information here you can write the company information and after partner details the next tab is payment and commission under payment and commission here admin can set the commission for this particular partner now here is the PayPal ID for the partner you have to set the PayPal ID of the partner now other payment information here uh, partner can set the bank details or you can set the bank details for the partner so now here is add product partner can add product from here these are the products which partner can add to the profile now after payment and commission we will move to the order tab here admin can see the orders of this particular partner so here is the details of uh, uh, an order order id customer name products date added status total and action after that there is a tab of transaction so here is uh, the transaction list and here is the description and amount so admin can add transaction to this list now here is location if a uh, seller add location uh, to his profile then the location will be uh, easily displayed and after that if admin modify any information then admin can save the information from here so now I will again go to the partners so these are our existing partners you can select and cancel the partnership and here you can approve if you uh, click on this approve button then the partnership will be cancelled so I will not cancel the partnership you can also delete the partner from by selecting the partner and click on delete so that's how admin can easily manage the partners from here now we will move to customer group after partner there is a menu customer group under customer group admin can create various customer groups from this add new customer group option here is the list of existing customer groups here admin can easily edit a customer group so here is the edit marketplace customer group page so admin can easily edit the customer group admin can edit the customer group name description 
partner group group rights here admin can select the group rights for a particular customer group and if a customer of this customer group makes a sub customer group then the rights cannot be more than the parent customer group so now here is the status to enable or disable uh, any particular customer group and after that admin can save the modifications from here so we will again go to uh, the customer groups so so that's how admin can easily manage the customer groups from uh, this menu now we will move to the commissions so here is the marketplace commission management page here there is uh, no commission yet our admin have set uh, but admin can easily see the list of uh, commissions from here admin can also filter it from its ID and category admin can add new commission from uh, this add button so here the admin have to select the category and you can also see the subcategories like on here is the uh, major category is component and the subcategory is monitors and these are the subcategories so here admin can select a category and can set the percentage uh, this is the fixed percentage and admin can also set the fixed commission and the percent commission for this category so admin can set both the commissions together or admin can set only one commission at once uh, so here you can, you can see a success message and here you can see the commission rate or a new commission which I have added recently so that's how admin can easily manage the commission now we will move to uh, the products so here is the marketplace products admin can easily manage the marketplace products from here so these are the marketplace product list so admin can easily edit any product by clicking on this edit button admin can edit the product the, this is the general tab for the product now the data for the product links attributes options recurring discounts special price then image reward points and design and can easily edit a product and can save the modifications from here so you can see the success message so admin can also search for the products using fil filter and now here is add new product So and you can easily add a new product as a, as you already know how to add a product in open cart so that's all for the product part that's how admin can easily manage products admin can also delete products by selecting the products from here and click on delete now we will move to the income menu so here admin can see the income list of uh, the partners and here is the grand total and uh, here is an pay button uh, for the particular partner so if admin click the pay button then admin can pay the amount to the partner easily so here is the uh, uh, seller information seller name john doe seller email payable amount here admin can 
enter the details and here is the details for the amount which is to be paid so that's how admin can easily pay the amount to the sellers and admin can also use the filters to search for a seller or search for commission or the total amount and admin can reset the filters from here so that's how admin can easily manage the income of the customers now the next field is transaction so here is transactions uh, right now there is no transactions uh, in the list uh, but admin can easily see the transaction list from here admin can also delete some transactions by selecting the transaction and click on delete admin can use filters for to search the transaction and uh, in transaction id seller name transaction amount details and date added will be shown uh, now uh, we will move to the shipping menu under shipping menu admin can add shipping uh, for the product and admin can uh, search for the shipping uh, from this filter and admin can add new shipping from here admin can easily upload a CSV file by clicking on upload button so here is the csv file i am going to upload this csv file uh, to show you how does it work so i will click on upload and i will go to the downloads so here is the demo shipping csv i'll open this and you have to select the separator if this is comma separated then you have to select comma now you have to click on next so here you can see the step 2 here all the fields have been matched so here is the success message shipping are added successfully lines 9 so we will go to uh, the shipping menu so here you can see I have added a uh, shipping here so admin can easily add shipping from that CSV so admin can add more shippings from this add button or admin can delete the shipping uh, by clicking on by selecting the shipping and by clicking on the delete button so that's all for the shipping now we will move to the mail so here admin can easily uh, create mail templates so you can see the mail templates admin approve disapprove seller customer then this mail will be sent if customer apply for sellership then customer will receive this mail so these are all templates created by the admin so you can create or manage the templates easily from uh, this menu so this is the last menu uh, for from the admin side for b2b marketplace and uh, that's all for this video i hope you have understood how admin can easily manage b2b marketplace from the admin panel so thank you for watching this video stay connected